In the heart of winter, cracks, leaks and the bitter cold is making the lives of some Hyde Park residents unbearable. Warda Samuels, who shares a one-bedroom informal dwelling with six of her children and six grandchildren, says she has been pleading for help from the city for 11 years but has had no relief. You know, since I've been staying here in Hyde Park, um, I've been complaining about the cracks in my house, the water and um, the flooring. The flooring is also breaking up. So you must just now wait and until thy kingdom come when they actually decide to do houses. <laughs> community worker Lydia Tron says the local councillor doesn't take responsibility for their community. The councillor is responsible for everything here. When you go to the meeting, you're just speaking with them, they say, OK, we come, but they don't pitch. And it's not nice to every time come back to the community and say, OK, the councillor is coming, they're going to do this and going to do that. You, as the community worker, look like a liar to them because when the people comes out and what is going to waste them when when and especially winter people it's not nice to stay in this houses at the winter clara adams who has had four lung operations says she has to insulate her windows every winter to stop the rain and cold from coming in when the rain is coming inside now by the windows then i must put this here the, the dead lappy and I must put my uh, bed away from because I the water is running down. You in winter this house is cold, ne? It's not plaster, and you must make your own uh, electric dryer. You see, and uh, I had four long operations, and it's not nice in this house. It's cold, me, and you must hold your warm.